or you are so great at running down the street. You're not hard, you're not tough, you run, my man. And do you know why I know you're fraudulent? Because as I make fun of you and you post your little TikTok video, I'm a hard man. I'll show up, I'll handle this like a man. No, you won't, dude. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Jay, retired U.S. Army Dubray, and the intent behind this channel, guys, is to share knowledge and wisdom with the next generation. So if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to help me reach that goal. If you guys aren't aware, the last couple of months, there's been a lot of beef between MMA fighter Sean Strickland and the entire Navy SEAL community. This started with Sean Strickland posting a video challenging U.S. Army Navy SEALs to fight him in the ring, stating that what they go through is nothing compared to what he has to do as a fighter. Now, this sparked several response from the Navy SEAL community, specifically those that are online on Instagram and also YouTube, right? Several different response videos came out of individuals telling Sean Strickland that what he does as far as being in the ring and fighting is nothing compared to what the Navy SEAL community does, buds and all the training and etc. etc. right? So this went on back and forth for a little bit and then eventually somebody got in the ring with Sean Strickland. Take a look at this video on how this fight turned out. Oh, I got it. Body work. Oh, it's high. I don't want to knock you out. Oh, that team got him. That team got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, team. Oh, Clearly, Sean Strickland destroyed that dude, right? Because it's his environment, right? You're taking on a professional fighter in a setting that you're not accustomed to, right? So, of course, that's what's going to happen. It's like taking him to the range and shooting or taking him on the obstacle course, right? It's an environment that's foreign to that individual, right? So, technically, he had the upper hand, right? So, that was the fighting beef, right? Now... I thought it was over, right? I thought this was it, but guys, it continued. A few weeks ago, he started putting out videos talking about David Goggins. These are some of the videos that he released as it relates to David Goggins. Goggins, I heard you want a piece. Challenge accepted. Just so you know, man, the only thing you ever beat me at in life is fucking run. But guess what? I don't have to fucking run. You run for me. Uh, 22! Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? That's you, buddy! Why this thing is... My fucking Navy SEAL, man. And as a response to him, David Goggins released his video. Sean Strickland, I know you're doing all this for clickbait. We had a DM the other day, me and you back and forth. I was pretty much DMing you because, you know, you call me a bitch and talk about my military career and going out here once again, trying to, like you said in your DM, trying to be a clown, you're an MMA fighter, and also you're a comedian. So, you know, I'm not much of a comedian at all. I'm old school man, bro. So, you know, you go out here calling people bitch and shit like that, saying, you know, no Navy still can hang with you training. I was responding to all those videos you did. I've, I've never met you. You never met me. And you ran your mouth. You wanted to aspire with me and all this other stuff, man. You were born in 1991, I believe. I was born in 1975. Talk about me being old, me being beat up. Once again, I know you're trying to clickbait all this stuff, but I'm an old fashioned man. I am older than you, 16 years older than you. So I don't do all this, let me get clickbait shit. You wanna say you can fuck me up in training? I responded to that video to you, and this is what I said. 
You have yet to respond to this. And so anytime, anytime you want to train with me, I am ready to train with you. I am done with the videos. You all can keep on, you know, tagging me on TikTok and all this other shit. Sean, it's in your court. Guys, my two cents on this. This segment is brought to you by Iconic Medical. Iconic Medical is a full spectrum men's health and wellness clinic specializing in a variety of treatment for men but in this segment guys i want to talk to you guys about trt testosterone replacement therapy guys once i got done running and gunning at the highest level over third special forces group i went to the schoolhouse and i began duty as a first sergeant i went from operating at a thousand miles an hour to you know a hundred and it hit me like a ton of bricks it's very typical in our fields, especially with special forces operators operating at the highest level, right? You've been running and gunning at such a high tempo, just the adrenaline rush to where when it all stops, everything just comes crashing. And that's exactly what happened to me. I had no energy to do anything. I had to stand up at work just to get the job done. I was tired all the time. I was taking naps literally two to three times a day. I would go to the gym and I just didn't have the energy to actually live. I didn't know what to do, but I knew I had to do something. My test levels came back at 300. I couldn't believe it. So I got on test immediately. And once I did that, guys, it was like a complete 180. I had all the energy in the world. I literally could lift the world at the gym and I had energies for days. If you find yourself in this boat, reach out to Iconic Medical. They do everything in house. They will schedule the consultation. They will schedule your blood work. And if you need it, they will get your prescription and your medication to you so you can start feeling like yourself again, guys. If you're interested, check out the description box below. There you will find the link to Iconic Medical's website with the discount code GBC. Those guys are awesome and they will take care of you. Let's get back to the episode. All right, so clearly, Sean Strickland has an issue, right? I don't know if he's, you know, if he was bullied as a kid and now he feels as if he needs to bully people online behind the keyboard, um, or if he's trying to um, entertain himself by by staring social media beef and build like a like a, 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 a aura about him about him being like a badass and a bad boys and challenging all these different folks. Like I don't know what it is, but I do know one thing, and it's something that I learned really early on, right? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can't kill me or hurt me, right? You got to keep that in mind. When you see all these shenanigans taking place uh, online and people talking about you, guys, trust me, if you don't answer, if you don't say anything back, that puts you in the position of power. So you don't have to go get behind a camera and respond to what these individuals are saying, right? Or individuals that are calling you out. You don't have to, just keep it moving. Go about your business, right? I'm sure in the comment sections and on Reddit, wherever that folks are saying shit about me that I don't really care to go seek out because I know what my purpose is. I know what my mission is and I know who I am as an individual, right? And if you don't shed light or if you don't entertain those things that are being said about you, then eventually they'll just go away and people won't get the attention that they're seeking by talking about you. That's how I like to look at everything, not only on social media, but within my inner circle, within my outer circle, within the military, like everything that I do, right? I know who I am and I know what I represent. And if folks are saying things that aren't true, I just don't shed any light to it. Don't paint no mind, all right? That's just how I roll. And I recommend, you know, folks that are watching me on social media, handle it in a similar fashion because going back and forth and tit for tat, it just shows just how immature and how desperate that guys are to, you know, spark beef, right? It's not worth it, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about this situation that are unfolding between the two of these guys. Put it in the comment section below, guys. Until next time, take care of yourselves.